begin this video, I just want to give a very special shout out to three of my new patrons, uh, Wed Kine, Ben Fortier, and Oyatama. You guys are absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for the support. And I also want to give one special shout out to the last person that I expect to see my video. Kotakeuchi. That's right. He saw my video on Attack on Vivian and he decided to draw a fan art of me. That's right. A fan art of me. Here's the fan art and it is it is astonishingly good. It is a wonderful, wonderful fan art. I cannot believe that he would actually take the time to draw me, my my avatar, my profile, like my YouTube uh, profile picture. Like it is, it is amazing. It is insane. Like oh my god, it is so freaking amazing. Thank you so much, Ko. I actually uh, did a little bit of time to trace it uh, because you know the. The picture actually come from Twitter and it's very low res, so I decided to trace it. If you guys want the HD version, I can probably link it in the description down below. But, uh, well, thank you so much for the art, Ko. You are amazing. So, uh, what I'm going to do in this video, why I decided to do go uh, to do live action? Well, because I've been wanting to do a 9,000 subscri uh, subscriber special video, but I just... Uh, time and time again, like, you can literally see in my Iron Man video last uh, I think you guys can check that one out uh, basically I was planning to do a 5,000 subscriber video but I didn't have the ch I don't have the chance to do it I don't really have uh, time to do it basically so uh, you guys may be wondering what kind of video do I want to do for my uh, uh, 5,000 uh, no, not thousand special video well basically what I want to do is I want to give a little bit of a walkthrough in how I do my videos. So you guys might have been wondering, and I've been asked this by tons and tons of YouTubers, tons and tons of people have been asking me this question, like how do I do my YouTube videos daily? How, not daily, uh, how I do it, well, when I do make my YouTube videos, how I make my YouTube videos, how do I, uh, what kind of software do I make, what kind of hardware do I use? Lots of people have been asking me those questions, so I'm just gonna do this video just to pretty much answer all of those. So. How am I gonna do this? Well, I'm gonna split this video into five segments. Um, all of the segments are in this video, of course. Now, uh, all of these separate segments are gonna be separated with a very convenient ad placement. So you guys can check out down below to see those yellow thingies in there. Uh, you see those yellow thingies, they're basically mark on new segment, start off a new segment in a, new, uh, in a particular video. So the first uh, segment, I'm going to talk about the hardwares that I use. The second segment, I'm going to talk about the script of the video. The, uh, the third segment, I'm going to talk about the visuals uh, that I give on the video. Uh, the fourth segment, I'm going to talk about the audio. And then the fifth segment, we're going to talk about the video editing. Now for the last part, it's basically just uploading to YouTube. I'm very sure you guys know how to do that. So we're just going to go ahead and go straight to the first part, which is hardware. <laughs> So in hardware, well, where do you even begin? So uh, the camera that I use is my phone. It's Samsung G5. Uh, you record it in 1080p, uh, even though the video is 720p, but I just record it in 1080p so that I can get better quality. Uh, I don't want to record it in uh, 720p. I just wanted to record it in 1080p to get better quality. And I use the front camera, which is five megapixels. The back camera is 13 megapixels, but I decided to use the front camera. The front camera is, is decent enough. And for the audio, I use this thing called Samsung Go right here. This microphone right here. Now I'm just gonna show you guys uh, the Amazon, uh, basically profile, not profile, um, the Amazon page for uh, Samsung Go. As you can see that it's very small, it's very convenient, and it actually comes off, I'm just gonna show you guys right here. As it comes off with its own pouch right here, so you can actually bring this thing anywhere. And, uh, it's very portable uh, microphone, so you can actually do this whole recording anywhere you want. And it's a very good microphone. Really excellent. If you guys just... This is the audio quality that comes from this microphone. If you guys think it's excellent, you guys might buy this microphone. So this microphone is about uh, $40 in your nearby uh, online retailers. Uh, I bought this one online. And uh, by, by the way, it's my Samsung, uh, Samsung J5. That's about $200. So what else? What else? Ah, I'm just gonna show you guys an alternative. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Uh, oh yeah, right here. Uh, I didn't, I, for some reason I didn't want to put this on. Huh. Uh, I, I use my speaker sometimes, so. So this is a little bit of an alternative, just in case you guys don't want to use 
uh, this thing. So this is the eBlue EHS-013 uh, headset. This is a very good gaming headset. Now I'm just going to plug this right in here. So uh, in the future, I'm just going to plug it right there. So just in case I want to record. Uh, no, not record. I just listen to the entire points. So this is the... Just going to show you guys. This is the uh, eBlue EHS-013 headset. Now you can actually use this headset or you can actually just use the Samsung Go. Uh, now, the problem is with uh, using Samsung Go is that uh, the placement is going to be a little weird and I use a mic stand and a pop filter. So I'm just going to describe you guys each by each before we actually get to the EHS. So here's a pop filter. Now, what does this pop filter do? So basically, if you go into a microphone, there's there's always that, <laughs> that, that sound, that, that annoying Poo, poo, poo sound that always happens. So with a pop filter, it basically disables. So I can't just say pop, 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 pop right there. And it basically stops that pa noise to actually uh, get it to the microphone. So that it actually doesn't distort the entire voice. So uh, this mic stand is also Samsung. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot. The pop filter is Samsung PSO1. This That's about uh, $24. <laughs> I knocked this out right there. So that was about $20 and it fits with every single mic stand out there. You can just buy a generic mic stand. This mic stand is Samsung uh, BL3. Uh, this is also a very good mic stand. Uh, I bought this one for about, uh, I think, $30. Uh, so this entire thing, this entire recording set of Samsung Go, Samsung, oh, everything is just Samsung. So basically a complete recording set of Samsung that actually costs about $100. If you want to buy that, if you want, if you're comfortable with uh, Samsung Go, if you're comfortable with doing this entire thing, which I recommend you guys do this in this way. And uh, when I use my Samsung Go, I would just hold it right there, right close to me. Just hold it like a freaking microphone, like, you know, just a stage microphone. But uh, I would prefer it just to do it this way, just with a freaking mic stand. It's a hell of a lot better. And it actually makes it more convenient. Last time, I think I showed it in my Candid video, I actually have a little bit of mini, mini tripod with the Samsung Go being stuck into it, put into it. And I don't I don't have the pop filter at the time. So uh, <clears throat> I prefer you guys to do this mic stand. If you want to get a Samsung Go, get the mic stand, get the, uh, get also get the pop filter. Uh, a very complete set, so very good. But if you don't want to get all of these, this is our cost at about $100 total. Well, less around $100 total. If you don't want to get all of these Samsung Go microphone, you can also, you can use this EHS, uh, eBlue EHS-013, or at least any gaming headset. Now, in terms of gaming headset, I recommend you guys to buy it there are above $20. Because I'm just going to go ahead and switch you guys and uh, switch into this recording to using this and see how the quality goes. I'm just going to switch into this headset in 3, 2, 1. So here I am using the EHS-01 headset, just a little bit of a demonstration, a little bit of testing and how the audio goes. So this is how the audio goes when using the headset. So if you guys don't want the elaborate Samsung Go thing, uh, this is a little elaborate, but uh, if you don't want to uh, use this, I prefer to use the Samsung Go. I think it's a lot more professional and sound a hell of a lot more professional, but just in case if my Samsung Go got broken or I can't use it at a time, or maybe some of the wires are broken, I can just use this headset. This headset is very good. It has a very decent audio quality. Uh, so if you want to get yourself a, a very good uh, audio quality, uh, video quality, you don't have to buy like one of those like really mixed. Just get a gaming headset and make sure that it's like above $20. This headset is above $20. So make sure you got, I, I think, wait, last time I checked uh, in the editing process, I think I said it was above $20, but uh, it's actually $16.99, $16 headset. But here's a $16 headset. Again, I recommend to get a headset above $20 because uh, the audio quality would have been so much better if you actually do that, uh, get the headset that is actually above $20. It's actually, it's actually a hell of a lot better in that way. So, uh this is the audio quality on the EHS-01. Now, the last part that I want to talk about hardware is my uh, laptop. So this is my laptop over here. I give you. I think I have given you the full specs countless times uh, in the past. And this is my full spec on the laptop. It's, as, it's Asus X550ZE. And yeah, this laptop does not have a freaking... Uh, it doesn't have a audio jack, input audio jack. It only has this combination thing which doesn't work. It only works for heads. It really for for a headset. I tried to use that jack, uh, the headset jack, like this headset jack over here. This one, you know, it has three. I'm just gonna show you. It has three prongs. 
Okay, one, two, three. As three prompts, I try to use this thing just to audio input. It doesn't work. So there's that. So this jack is essentially just completely worthless. So I don't know if they're going to do the same thing to the ROG, which I am going to buy in the future as I keep on piling up the money that I got on YouTube. So here's the AHS-01. Here's uh, my rig is Asus XS550X550ZE. And uh, I use that rig to just produce this entire video. So... I think that covers up most of the hardwares that I use. i pretty sure I missed something. If I missed something, go ahead and comment right down below. So I'm just going to go ahead and switch into our next part of the video, which is, uh, which is of course, the script. So I'm going to switch in 3, 2, 1. Okay, so once we're done with the whole audio recording thing, now we're gonna get into the next step, which is script. Now, in my videos, I usually have a script to go on to just guide me through the entire thing. Now, uh, how do I do type my script and how can I type my script when I have a freaking <laughs> microphone right in front of me? I'm doing this in real time, by the way. It's also easier than I thought. So anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys how I do my scripts. So in this particular video, I'm just gonna show you a sample script I do what I wanna do. And basically I'm just gonna title this video of Vivian James Fan Art. Since, you know, we had talked about Vivian James before. So uh, here are some of the Vivian James Fan Art that I really like. I hope you guys really enjoy it. So basically that's going to be the video, uh, that's going to be the part of it, the script of video I'm going to read. And usually I don't, there are things that I don't leave out of the script. Uh, there are things that I just don't add to the script. And most of the things that I don't add to the script are usually the outro, you know, usual, that's all for the video today. If you like this, you can blah, 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 blah. So I don't usually add that in the script because I just memorized that. It's a very, very easy thing to remember. So there's, um, there's a script. Uh, there's the script is finished. <laughs> this is again. It's just a sample script. I might have done a little bit more hard work to it. Now, the, now since this is just showing Vivian James fan art, it's gonna take a lot more hard work. We're just gonna need to find them in PowerPoint and just compile them all up in PowerPoint. And we're gonna do that in just about now. Alright guys, so here is the Vivian James fan arts gallery that I have right here. If you want to check out the said gallery, link is right in the description. So, oh yeah, I forgot. Um, the software that I used to record this is called Open Broadcaster Software. I'm just going to scroll it right here. And uh, oh my god, I turned on my line. I'm just going to quit for a moment. Okay. So the software that I used to record the whole thing right here is called Open Broadcaster Software. It is a free open source uh, screen recording software. Very good, very smooth recording. It's better than Camtasia, better, better than Cam Studio. Certainly, in, in, is my personal opinion. And it records a lot smoother than both of them, both the softwares. Now, one thing that I used to uh, tend to do on script is that here's the script right here. I'm just gonna use uh, copy this particular mm, this particular link and just highlight a particular part of the world and press control K and copy the link right there. Okay, so once I copy the link right there, uh, it basically creates a hyperlink. Now, uh, I'm just gonna, uh, the reason why I do this is because I need to leave in my sources and sometimes uh, there are things that, uh, sources of images that I wanna share in and uh, some of the images that I want to share to you guys, they need sources, and of course, I'm going to cite them all out in this script. Oh, yeah, I forgot to save it. <laughs> so here are the fan arts, and uh, really, very good fan arts from lots lots of people. Very good. So uh, I'm just going to take in some of these fan arts. Uh, this is actually really good. So uh, I'm going to copy this one. Now, I'm going to use two softwares in this particular segment, in PowerPoint segment. Uh, the first software is called Paint.net which is the equivalent of to Photoshop, but Photoshop is taking pretty heavy and I use this uh, software very well. It's very good. So in paint.net, when there's an image that is usually white, I usually want to refer it to transparent background. And I'm just going to go ahead and remove this credit uh, just for a moment, just for, again, just for personal use. Because, uh, you know, the credit kind of disturbs the entire thing. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to uh, to the creator. I just, I'm just showing you an example. Now, this is basically one fan art. I'm just gonna go ahead and look for more. Okay, so 
never forget your love's betrayed I'll never forget this day So right after that, we're just gonna open PowerPoint. So this is where the entire thing comes in. So in PowerPoint, I, and you might be noticing that I use a 2016 PowerPoint. Oh, oh, this is just from the last video. So I'm just gonna delete that. How the hell can you get in here? Yeah, that's when the point where I forgot the save as in PowerPoint. So we're just gonna get to the images. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put in the image right here. Uh, this one right here is so cute. Oh. <laughs> Who is this guy? I forgot. Bane? No, Bane, Bane has Bane is a Kool-Aid guy. <laughs> so Oh the little Vivian. Oh, oh this is so cool. This is adult Vivian. It's like more grumpy. It's like, mm -hmm. Where's the game? Where's the game? I need more of the game. J Jesus Christ. All right. This is the game. Yeah. Oh finally I get to play a goddamn game. Jesus Christ. Alright, I'm just gonna drag this right over here. Okay, now uh, what I usually do in PowerPoint is that I usually have the thumbnail. So that really nice wallpaper, Vivian, here we go. Okay, I, I used this art before, so um, I'm just gonna use this one just as a sample. So I'm just gonna crop this uh, picture into this 169 apps aspect ratio so that it actually fits with the slide. There we go. And then I'm gonna add the banner, the typical app abed banner. Right here, the orange one is nice. So there we go. So there's your thumbnail, how to make a thumbnail in an Apple Band video. Uh, the thing is that I wanna do in this particular segment is uh, I want to animate. I want to animate uh, all the Vivians right here. So, but in order to animate these Vivians, uh, basically I want to like show this Vivian first and then this Vivian and then this Vivian and then this Vivian. So in order to do that, I'm just gonna do it in PowerPoint. It's very simple, just uh, press appear. Uh, animate appear. It doesn't have to be a complicated animation. And I'm just gonna animate it on click. So appear, appear, appear. I can also just basically, I'm just gonna delete the entire thing. I can also basically, here's what I usually do. I just uh, hold shift, click, 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 then click appear. Then once you're done here, start when clicked and it basically goes in order. So I'm just gonna show you guys uh, the animation. And see so there's empty, empty space right here, shows. Shows, shows, shows. Right. Now, uh, the last part is to basically save the entire project. Now, the one problem with PowerPoint is if you want to save the entire thing, uh, they only save these particular segments. So they only save uh, the slides. They only save the front slides. They don't actually save the animation that contains within it. Now, if you want to say, if you want to basically order some of the animation, if you want to save the animation as well, there's this very neat software called a uh, plugin called PP Split. Basically, what this does is it splits this uh, particular slide into different uh, and create new slides based on the animation that you put. So, so this will be a new slide. This will be a new slide. This will be a new slide. This will be a new slide, and this also will be a new slide. So I'm just gonna click split animation, and there you go. It will create new slides. I will create four more. Uh, one, two, three. It will create uh, four more, uh, five more new slides. So there we go. These are the new slides that are created. Uh, things to PP split. Okay, so once we split them, we're gonna save all slides. Now, you can actually save all of these slides as a PNG. So I'm just gonna save it in my D folder real quick and you can save as type to PNG. So you're saving every single slide as an image. So I'm just gonna save all of them and I'm gonna click all slide. They will basically save all slide as a separate image and they will save it into a particular folder. So right, I'm just gonna show the folder right here. Vivian James fan art. I'm just gonna cut this one and put it on basically the entire uh, the place where I got. Uh, basically, I'm just gonna put it in a place where I put on the entire thing. So, Vivian James fan art. So as you can see, all of the slides are saved now into separate images. There you go, and they all follow according to the animation. So one, two, three, four. There you go. So once I'm done, I usually press undo. So I only saved it when I split it split the entire thing. Once I'm done, so I guess we're gonna go to video editing. I am so glad I recorded that in a separate video, otherwise I would be wrong. We gotta get to the next segment, which is audio. Not video yet. <laughs> Post-production issues that I just noticed when you make mistakes. Let's get to the audio. Yeah. 
Here are some of the Vivian James fan art that I really like. I hope you guys really enjoy it. Right, on a particular segment, you already see me uh, reading the entire script that I write last time. So after we read the script, I'm just going to show you guys the screen of the uh, result of me reading the script and recording it in this software called Audacity. Audacity is a, is a free and open source audio editor. Definitely go check that one out. It is very good. It can definitely help your audio editing a lot. So in this particular screen, I'm going to show you Audacity and, and this particular Audacity. And uh, you might notice that I didn't have uh, my hands in my mouth like I do in real time last time. That's because this particular segment is pre-rendered because I am also recording this audio in Audacity and I can't show both at the same time. So I'm just going to do this pre-rendered. So uh, the first thing that you need to know in Audacity is that once you got all the audio uh, files all in there, uh, audio uh, recording in there, uh, you're going to need to recognize three important uh, effects that you're going to need to use in this particular uh, segment. The first effect that I use uh, in this use when using the Samsung Go is called equalization. Now, what equalization does is basically it makes your uh, bass and treble a lot better. Uh, it's, they boost up the bass and treble of your microphone so that it actually sounds better. Uh, that's what I did with the EHS headphone, it actually makes it sound a hell of a lot better than, than when it actually sounds raw. And it, it does the same thing to Samsung Go, but I didn't do it in a significant way. So I'm just going to show you guys equalization right here. This is the equalization effect. Now, of course, you're going to need to apply it to all parts of the audio. So select all of the audio and then I select equalization. So equalization right here, you might see that uh, we have bass boost and treble boost. When you install Audacity, you have only bass boost and treble boost. You don't have both. So what I recommend you guys to do is make your own preset and just try to combine both bass and bo bass boost and treble boost. You need to know where the position of those lines are. And once you rem remember where they are and just try to remember their position, uh, once you do that, you basically just need to uh, uh, tweak the lines and graphs into whatever position you want and then save it into a separate preset, which I did save it in a few separate presets. I called it a bass plus treble boost. Definitely use that preset and uh, save your own preset for that and get out <laughs> mosquito. So uh, once you're done that, you can go ahead and uh, click OK. And that will basically make your entire audio to be very good. It sounds very nice. Uh, the bass and the bass and the treble, it actually makes the audio a hell of a lot better. So the next step that I want you to do uh, that I do. <laughs> sorry, this is not a tutorial. It's a walkthrough. So the next step that I do is a compressor. So what compression does basically is it makes the quieter parts of the audio a little louder and it makes the louder part of the audio a little lower. So it basically kind of equalizes the entire volume of the entire thing. But at least that's how I see it in practice. But uh, I don't really actually know what compression does. Uh, but it actually does help on equalizing the entire volume so that it actually is balanced throughout the entire video, uh, the entire audio. So once you do apply a compressor, I apply it in a def basic default preset. So just apply it, click OK. And now we get into noise removal. Now, noise removal, uh, it's not actually not noise removal, it's called, it's called noise reduction. It actually reduces the background noise that are happening around your, uh, that are happening around uh, the, when you're recording the actual audio. So when you actually record audio, there's usually background noises and everything that you're going to, to remove it. So in order to remove that, you basically select a very tiny segment of that uh, your audio that shows the particular noise happening. And then once you do that, you uh, save that as a sample, basically. And once you save that as a sample, you basically just repeat the uh, noise reduction uh, effect. And then that will basically remove the entire noise. So there you have it. That's how you uh, you remove the entire noise. And I that's all the things that I do in the audio and the audio department. There's all the effects that I put in Audacity. So maybe you want to take notes and what are the effects that I put, or maybe you have some audio uh, issues in how to make your audio sound better. There's a little bit of tips on how do you make your audio better in Audacity. So <laughs> just showing it to you again, this is a Walter, not really a tutorial. But uh, right after that, we're just gonna go straight into the video segment. This is where I finally get it right. Screw you, video editing, Jesus Christ. So here we are on the editing room of uh, this particular video. So I'm just going to show you what's on my template, basically. So this this is my template. I saved it as a different file name, Vivian James Fan Art. So uh, 
in this particular template, I'm just going to show you what's going on in the audio tracks. Why do I have so many audio tracks? Uh, the third one is always a distort a track for distort. So uh, when I want to put in a voice, this the voice effect for distort, I'm just going to put a track right there. So uh, here's the audio file that we already saved that we edited from last time right here. I save it as fan art. Uh, dot wav and here's the audio i'm just gonna let you listen to it here are some of the vivian james fan art that i really like i hope you guys really enjoy it okay so there's the audio and i'm just gonna go ahead oh wait <laughs> i'm just gonna go ahead and uh here are some of the vivian james fan art that i really like i hope you guys really enjoy it okay so there's the audio already we already make it focus on so i just need, need to decrease this uh idle image idle avatar image into pretty much the same length as the audio now the next uh, the first problem that we have here is uh the background is bar is black that's because i cropped the only i cropped into a circle because i want to make the background dynamic and uh sometimes when i just pre-render it this is actually a pre-rendered clip so i'm just going to show you what happens when i unmasked it so as you can see it's a pre-rendered clip but Using this particular background, it makes it completely inconsistent with the rest of the the, the background with the rest of the image. So I'm just gonna disable that and basically make another video video track uh, down below just to give it a little bit of background. So there it is. So there you have it. Here are some of the Vivian James fan art that I really like. I hope you guys really enjoy it. So there you go. Uh, so I'm just uh, this is your typical Everben Idol. Now, what I do in my typical app band idle is I'm just gonna sh drop all the images right here. Now, what I do in my typical app band idle is I group these two things, these two uh, video tr video tracks, and uh, when I want to show an image, I'm just gonna show the image right here. Please enjoy it. Please enjoy it. Okay, I'm just gonna sh I'm gonna show the first image right here, second image right there, third image right there, fourth image right there. And I always extend my Epiben image right there. Okay, so there you have it. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, we need to add the intro. So I'm just gonna drag the intro. Just give me a moment. Okay, so I dragged both the intro and the outro into the video. Now, both the intro and the outro are entirely my own personal animation. As you can see, that that's the personal animation. So, uh, what I do usually in the intro is I uh. Basically, so this is the main part of the video. What I do in the intro is I... Wait, wait, just for a second. Okay, I'm just gonna... At this very moment, the thumbnail image is gonna appear. So I'm just gonna give the... Get to the thumbnail image. This one. Okay, this is the thumbnail image. I'm gonna make sure it's the same length as video. Now I'm going to split the audio and the video of this one so that I can make sure that this video quits while this one enters. And this one is going to fade into about zero, one, one second. Okay. Now the next part is to add a little bit of a subtle earthquake on it. So I'm just going to give the element, the effect, right? Where is it? Stylizer right here. So the effect is called uh, very subtle. This is my own preset. Uh, now, one thing that you notice when you put an earthquake is that the image zooms in slightly. So I'm just gonna use the pan or crop and unzoom it to keep it on the. I use, I use a preset, basically, it's called intro because, you know, I usually unzoom the thumbnails in the intro. So. Okay, the transition is just a fade. So I'm just gonna give a 3D. What is it? Or 3D cascade. Here we go. This is the one. Okay, now I'm just gonna fade the song out. So by the time we end, the song is gonna fade it into obscurity. Once we got the trembling thumbnail, we're just gonna get into the trembling text. So we're gonna insert text media. Um, it's called the uh, title here. I have the preset right there. Okay, it still says Final Fantasy 15 because I'm too lazy, but it still does the preset. So I'm just going to type in Vivian James fan art. Okay, so the next part is, of course, adding the video effect. Uh, no, no, not this one. Next part is, of course, adding the video effect. I need to make sure that this is about the same length. There you go. 
The next part is <clears throat> the next part is adding the video effect, which is of course the earthquake. Now depends on what kind of triggered effect that I want. You know, I just want just want to give it a little bit temp trembler. Now that's a little too shaky. Just gonna very subtle is enough. Okay, there we go. Now I'm just gonna need an effect to, for the text to get in. Just a little, just a fade is fine. Okay, so now we're gonna fade the text out, uh, the text and the thumbnail out for just one second. All right, just gonna do the same thing for one second. All right there we go. So we have constructed the intro. Now we're just gonna need to move all of these into so that they can respond with the intro. Now I'm just gonna put this into second audio layer so that we can pile them up into each other. Now I'm gonna put it right here. And uh, since the fade out, it fades out to dark. Here are some of the Vivian okay, so it fades out to dark, so I'm just gonna put in my Epiband uh, avatar. So it fades into my so it fades into my avatar. I also want to add iris, the iris effect for the fade out, because it I, I looks a lot nicer, in my opinion. Here are some of the Vivian James fan art that I really like. I hope you guys really enjoy it. Okay, so here are fan arts, fan art, fan art, fan art. Okay, so there you go. So I'm just gonna show you guys how uh show you how I uh get the intro out, uh the outro out. So the outro again, this is also my, entirely my animation. So I'm just gonna get to the part where I need to cut the video out. So there you go. Just this part where I need to cut it out, and we're just gonna need to pile them all up. Uh, since I already piled them all up together, so I'm just gonna pile up all on the very top. So. Uh, I'm just gonna end it right here. Okay, there, that's perfect. So I'm just gonna uh, pull a fade in for one second. Oh, it's perfect. One second. So pull a fade in for one second. I'm just gonna give the iris effect. So it fades in with iris. I think one second, one and a half second is better. So I'm just gonna extend this a little bit. Okay, there we go. Now we're just gonna fade in the song. We're gonna split the song. Uh, a video. We're just gonna extend it all the way to this point and fade it in, and use a little much better uh, curve. If you want a straight curve, and tune the volume down. Just want to make sure that the volume, the output matter is much uh, balanced. Okay, so there's the outro, it's already done. So we're just gonna check out the video. Uh, how's the video looked out? Uh, this is a very short video, so we're gonna see how it works out. Here are some of the Vivian James fan art that I really like. I hope you guys really enjoy it. So there you have it. That's how I edit my videos. That's how I usually edit my videos daily. I hope you guys are enjoying this video and I uh, hope you guys find some sort of in uh, inspiration or information that you guys might use. So uh, all that's left is just to upload that video on YouTube. But uh, <laughs> that's just a very short video. It's a very sample video. So if you guys have any questions uh, regarding video production or uh, video editing or maybe YouTubing stuff, uh, if you have any questions, uh, you guys can go ahead and let me know in the comments below. That's all for the video today. If you guys like this video, you can go ahead and click the like button and subscribe for more if you wish. You can support me on Patreon. And thanks for watching.